everyone. Today we are going to show you world's best liquid particle counter. This is Pama's S40 portable liquid particle counter. Pama's it's a German company and we manufacture liquid particle counter for every liquid application whether it's a hydraulic oil, lubricating oil, gearbox oil, engine oil, fuels, water glycol, water, chemicals, we have particle counter for that. Pharma's liquid particle counter, they are highly reliable, highly accurate because our particle counter, they are fully calibrated as per ISO 11171 and ISO 4402. Nobody else provide you that kind of calibration because the accuracy depends on the calibration and our calibration is traceable to NIST means the data you are getting is highly accurate and traceable to the international standards. This portable liquid particle counter got many extraordinary features in it. First of all, I would like to tell you the sensor we are using in this instrument is a laser based sensor. We at Pharma's we manufacture very very highly sensitive sensor to check the particle contamination. This instrument has the volumetric sensor in it. What is volumetric sensor is? Means whatever sample we are feeding it to the system, it will check 100% of that volume. It will check 100% of that sample for the contamination. There is no chance of escaping particles from the counting. So that's why we call volumetric sensor. 100% of the volume which we are feeding to the system will be counted, will be checked. So this instrument is fully portable. You can carry this instrument from one place to another. Its weight is only 9 kg. It has inbuilt battery backup. When you are running instrument in a remote location where there is no power, in a continuous measuring, measurement mode, it will last 4 hours. And in a standby mode, the battery will last for 8 hours. This instrument, you can use it for batch measurement or online measurement. In a batch measurement, you can have your sample in a container or in a bottle. You need not any additional accessory with that. Here on the bench you can see this is the complete set of instrument. You just need two housing which you are using for the offline measurement and you need one housing when you are using the system for online measurement. Online measurement means to any pressurized system or any live hydraulic application. You just simply connect the instrument with this mini mesh coupling it will handle a pressure up to 420 bar. Means batch and online measurement, you can use this instrument from 0 to 420 bar. Any pressure it can handle. Another thing is it has internal memory and there is no consumable required. It has inbuilt thermal printer. Means even if you are running out of the paper, there is no, you don't have to worry about the data. It will save all the data internally. Another good thing is it has inbuilt metering pump. When you are doing the measurement from a bottle, you need not to apply any external pressure. It will draw the sample automatically. And that pump ensure the constant flow rate. Without constant flow rate, accuracy won't be there. The system calibrated at the same flow and all measurement they are also taking place at the same flow. That's why when we have the constant flow rate, the accuracy is very, very high. Another thing is here, this instrument, uh, it can save the data up to 4000 test results can be saved. It has 8, 16 and 32 freely selectable channels. What that means? you can have a complete range of particle sizes like 2 micron, 5 micron, 10 micron, 15 micron, 20 micron. You can have all these in 8 channels, 8 sizes, 16 and 32 sizes. It also has a, 
uh, another feature you can transfer the data the stored data onto your pc through the usb this is highly accurate it can have both calibration at the same time iso 11171 as well as iso 4402 calibration if you are having only one calibration which is for example 11171 you won't get nas value to have the to get the nas value you must have the instrument calibrated as per iso 4402 because both calibrations are totally different one single calibration cannot give you the data for another standard means if you have iso 11171 you won't be able to get data for the ISO 4402 calibration means you won't get the NAS value. You must have two separate calibration and our instrument has a capability of having both of, both of them. Means there is no such a conversion. So if you have only one calibration and you will get uh, reports in a different calibration, that is just an assumption. Here in this instrument, there is no assumption like that. You will get the accurate data as per that standard. You don't have to be you don't have to keep two instrument like if you are some of your machines you are following NAS and some of your machines you are following ISO you just use one single instrument but you have to calibrate it yeah. this instrument is capable of giving you almost every international standard reportings you will get reports in ISO NAS SAE, GHOST, GJB and many others. So if I show you these are the inlet outlet connectors here. For example, if you want to connect the instrument to any live hydraulic system, you just simply connect this port to the hydraulic system. You can use any pressure up to 420 bar. This port is the low pressure input. This is the high pressure input. If we have any sample in a bottle or in a container we are feeding that through this port this is low pressure input this is high pressure input now and this is the touch screen here you can give inputs either through the keypad or through the touch screen directly this is very handy and adjustable you can put this instrument in any direction like horizontal vertical just by pressing these buttons here and these are the ports control ports here this is mains input this is on off switch here i'm just turning it on this is service port this is dc input for example if you are using in a remote location in a mining or somewhere else where there is no ac power you can give a 24 volt uh, vehicle battery input here and this is the USB port to transfer data from S40 to PC. And this is uh, inbuilt thermal printer here. And this is touch screen here. And you can see this is the home screen here. So now, for example, I'm following the ISO 11171 calibration and I just need readings in ISO. So I will simply use this particular screen. And if I want to ma make measurement in, uh, in AC, which is uh, NAS calibration, so I have to just simply change it to AC and now I will get the NAS. Here you can see the particle range is different in NAS and in ISO it's different. So now I will show you how to make measurement. We take these two hoses here and we will connect it to low pressure input here it's simply you just screw in and now we will connect this when we are using in offline mode this is input this is output when we are using in high pressure mode this is input this is output it's very simple and to make a single measurement you can decide okay what kind of sample you want to take whether you want to measure 10 ml, you want to measure 20 ml, 50 ml or 100 ml or how many times you want to take or how many times you want to repeat that sample from the bottle. Here I have one sample bottle here. So now I'm 
just starting the one measurement so now what we have done here we simply connect these two hoses to the systems and one goes to the sample bottle another goes to the waste bottle so we are collecting the output in a waste bottle so what we will do we will just simply start the measurement here here on this screen you can see we can put all sort of information regarding our sample like what kind of sample we are using what are the service hour what is the temperature and all these things if there are any special comment required we will put it here and it will come onto our print as well we just start here you can simply see which one is the input which one is the output is just an extra protection for that so we are simply starting it so now measurement has started as you can see on the screens the measurement already started you can see the particle counts here and now it's taking the sample from this bottle and as i said constant flow is very very essential for that you can see this is the flow of 25 ml per minute where the measurement is taking place and the printout is also coming so once we finish the measurement the system will stop automatically now you can see uh, we just finished the test here i have taken three different sample from the same bottle this is the first sample second sample third sample and this is average of three as i said it is highly repeatable you can see the results here in each and every test they are pretty much similar and th this is the average here you are getting iso and sae sae4059 results so if you want to have the same sample as per the nas you have must have the calibration as per iso 4402 and you will get the similar report this instrument it will give you both options whether you want to measure in nas or you want to follow the standards in iso so that's all from our side so if you have any queries any questions please feel free to call us and if you would like to send us an email, you, you can send an email at uh, info at farmers.in or to my personal email, it's uh, harvi.sin at the rate farmers.in and my contact number is 999-284-3648. Thank you so much.